we were ready to go and Sophia was given the selfie stick and some simple instructions and she rather enjoyed it. She uh, thought it was like holding a sword. Um, and we're off. So we're doing a great job with the camera and uh, so I think she rather enjoyed it. It made her feel more involved, I think. So I'm hoping that uh, as we're travelling, that we'll really start getting into it. So we made it to Portsmouth, our first port of call, um, for a story about, funnily enough, Southampton. Um, uh, Sir Bevis, who defeated a giant. Only there's absolutely no evidence, despite what the book said, about uh, Bevis being in Southampton. But there was in Portsmouth, so we went to Portsmouth. Um, and that's when I discovered, no, I didn't discover, but that's when the, all the issues started with cameras being off when I thought they were on and on when the, I thought they were off. And uh, it ended up being a, pretty much a disaster. Um, I'm battling along. We're going to our next port of call in Ringwood. And um, I think we made lots of stops, actually, uh, because the Bluetooth wasn't working on the phone and navigation was turning into a nightmare and so we stopped in Ringwood, had uh, a hot chocolate and then we headed home and um, so here we are after the fact chatting about um, at the day that we just had. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe for more Videos. What do you think of today's little adventure? Tiring. Tiring. Why was it tiring? Well, one, I have to sit on the flipping bio bike. I have to sit on the. Okay, stop. No flipping. Okay. You just try and. I have to stay on the bike all day. Well, one, I have to stay on the bike all day. So we're just about to spend two months on the bike all day. Which is going to be even more tiring. <laughs> so... What about the places we did visit? Hmm. Well, we didn't 100% visit them, but either way, I think the second one was pretty nice. The dragon one? Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. It was a dragon in that area. Well, not a real one, but... Well, who knows? The story exists. Mm. So maybe there was a real one. Mm. Uh -huh. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> mm. just, because, just because people don't believe in dragons anymore doesn't mean they didn't exist. I know. I know that. I'm feeling, after that, incredibly disorganised. I don't know um, how the hell we're going to make it around Europe. We have no bloody navigation. <laughs> I think we might just start calling it getting lost in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Maybe the crooked foot adventure getting lost in Europe. <laughs> we never quite made it around the crooked foot. Um, well, I've bought a new sat nav now, and um, because we just we just got to sort this out. This navigation issue actually has been with us. Well, it's been with me forever. I have no sense of direction. And it just seems that everything I try completely falls flat on its face. <laughs> and it doesn't help that, um, in fact, I don't think I've ever had a good navigation system. Ever. The filming was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that the batteries went flat, um, and that happened with the phone as well. Um, 
and just faffing around with navigation and stuff like that and phones actually sort of distracted from the filming a little bit. But we did get one or two nice shots, so that's good. Uh, what is making me feel a bit better about the whole sort of planning and readiness for this trip was uh, um, I just switched on and started looking at the Race to Dakar, the Charlie Borman series. And um, okay, well, they don't look very organized at all. So it has made me feel a little bit better. And there they had a team of people and okay, it's a bigger project, but my God, you know, big team of people and a long time to organize it. And it all seems very fraught and panicky to me. Uh, sorry, sorry to the Dakar people who are watching. <laughs> in that series. Yeah, if you see this, I'm the sorry. The rudest but... woman ever. <laughs> no, I'm not being rude. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, you know, I think most people who watch that will probably say the same, I think. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but that's but apart lot. from the filming and the navigation issues... We are actually really quite organised. Um, I say that, touch wood, um, we still have got to get the bike a full service and we don't have a fixed date for that yet with Mick. Today had its good side and its bad sides, but it's all good. And I've got a week to turn it around, get the sat-nav situation sorted out. I've ordered the sat-nav uh, and Hopefully it'll arrive before we leave. Um, and I can start working on making sure that we get better quality film. Um, I am disappointed about that. And that's it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about Europe? Why? I don't even want to go. That's because you want to stay here. Yeah. You've got reasons to stay now. Mm hmm Okay, well, they're not good reasons to say. They're, they're not good enough reasons to not do something like this, so... I know. Right. Yeah, I know. Also, travelling ain't my type. Pardon? Travelling ain't my type. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're just lying. You love it. No, I don't. I saw... And I will put... I'm going to cut it into the video, actually. Is hey. that just as we were pulling out of here... And you are holding the selfie stick. There was a bit smile on your face <laughs> cut that like out. it's hey here we go again <laughs> cut that out please i feel just i just feel totally disorganized but it'll all sort itself out so time to start sorting out all the little bits of footage today there's not actually going to be that much but um i hope everyone enjoys it